is Saturday and it's currently 6 a.m. We sold our old dining chairs so I'm taking them out because I need to check if they are clean before we, we deliver them. Wait. taking out the dining chairs our old dining chairs we sold them so I need to check if they are in great condition um, before they are collected um, we actually need to meet up with them, this person who, who, who bought them um, we actually sold quite a few things let me check if we have low chicken today I'm not sure if we have low chicken this morning so we need to go to um to meet with this with this lady oh no okay we have load shedding at eight and anyway, we have load shedding in two hours that's fine yeah so we are meeting with this um the person in at the mall of africa and then we have to meet up with another lady um we sold quite a few things so we are meeting up with two people today to deliver uh, not to deliver we are meeting up like at a central place um, and then yeah the lady who bought the stand it has organized her own um, like someone to collect for her but the guy who's collecting them the sideboard is coming this morning i think yeah and yeah i'm gonna check the chairs now okay so
This is the, um, the side table that we also sold. And then the guy who's coming to collect the, um, the sideboard is on his way now. So he should be here maybe in like five minutes. I was editing tomorrow's vlog and in that vlog I spoke about um, how I manifested this house and I don't want you guys to think that I meant I know you guys understand what I mean but there is always a very small percentage of people who might misinterpret or misunderstand me I was not saying that me buying that robe from Zara home that I didn't wear because I wanted to wear it here I wasn't saying that was the only thing we did to get this house we obviously had to work for this house like we had to um save for this house we had to have um obviously you do apply like we had to go through like the normal house buying process so i wasn't saying that um we just got like the house because i manifested the house no it doesn't work like that if someone tells you that then <laughs> they're lying to you maybe we have different like definitions of manifestation people buy things and then they come and say they manifested them like for example if i say um i'm manifesting um i'm manifesting a car um and then next week i come and say i got my car i think that's that's lying because like obviously you already know that you are like in the process or your car is coming um the following week so you can't say you're man like you're manifesting a car now and then next week you have the car i feel like that's like yeah i feel like that's lying to people but yeah anyway i just wanted to explain that because i know there is someone who's going to say you guys buy things and then um come and say you manifested them we, we started the, um, the house buying process in october i think we signed our um, our offer to purchase on yeah it was the first of october or the second i don't remember because we came to view this house on um october 1st we were so happy with it we decided to sign we didn't even like think twice we decided to sign the, um, the otp yeah and those things that i was showing you guys in that vlog were very old it's stuff that i got in july june july yeah very very old things yeah i basically want to explain that i wasn't saying you have to buy like you can just buy a gown and say i'm gonna use this gown hi baby hmm. Hello. yeah you obviously have to do the work i feel like manifesting is like believing that something is going to happen for example i don't have a car i know which car i want or which car is my dream car but i don't even manifest that car because i just know that i'm not i don't even have my license <laughs> so i know i'm not at the right like it's not the right time for me to get a car i don't need a car at the moment i don't need um like i'm working from home we do have a car that we use um so yeah there's just no point for us to get an additional car like at the moment we don't need a car so i i don't even like dream about that car i don't have um yeah i don't even have it like um uh, in my list of things that i want to get like maybe this year i don't have i know it's not like my main priority yeah so i'm not even manifesting that car as much as like even though it's my dream car but i'm not manifesting that car right now because i know that it's not like my main priority so i feel like manifesting something is the same like it for me that's how i define it it's like believing that something is going to happen and having faith and just i don't know but for me it's the same as believing and hoping that something is going to happen but it doesn't mean that you don't have to do the work like you don't have to work for it you still have to work for it yeah so i thought i should let you guys know that i didn't mean that i just i just bought the gown i just got the the slippers and everything else just fell into place no no we had to work for like we had to do like to follow this like the normal process that other people follow when they buy a house so yeah
anyway so today is gonna be a very long day we have to go to um to meet rand uh to meet up with the um, um the ladies who bought the furniture that we were selling and then i'm thinking of getting my nails done today um and then i want to go to antique bathrooms because i want to buy the toilet seat they have the toilet seat that i want and i'm not sure if they have stock now because i called them i think two weeks ago or was it a week ago but i did call them to check if they had stock and they said no they didn't at that time uh yeah so i think i'm gonna go and just check um maybe see other things because i also want to polish um i have this i have this age brass mixer um and i'm not sure if they can polish they can polish it to they can change it to polish brass like and like polish it because when i spoke to that lady the last time i went there she mentioned something about polishing i'm not sure if they provide that service if you like like even if it's not something that you bought or you got from them i'm not sure if i want to mix metals i'm just not sure how it's gonna look i was thinking of i already have polished brass and i thought that maybe we can do polished brass and aged brass but i'm not sure how it's gonna look um but if they do provide the service like if they can polish the, um, the brass for us then we can just stick to polished brass because the bathtub also has um the waste drain we changed it to polish uh, to polished brass so i guess everything needs to be needs to be polished brass so that it matches i don't like compromising on things like especially for like my home we obviously did have a budget for renovating our primary bathroom and um getting that bathtub that bathtub was very expensive so our budget for the primary bathroom we were not willing to spend over 60k that bathtub is 34 34k and in addition you have to pay um for the um, the crate you have to pay for i think the crate is 1.8 and then you have to pay for for the delivery and the delivery is so expensive it was 2.8 and wh when that lady told us the price i thought that maybe she meant she she basically said that the, the delivery is 2.8 and when she says 2.8 I immediately assume that it's 280 <laughs> Kanti, she means 2.8 I was shocked like I was shocked like I feel like Naisha was also embarrassed to say the price because why is delivery 2.8 like it doesn't make sense um, anyway we had to pay for all of that because we obviously want them to deliver it to us so that um... hi baby yeah anyway we had to pay for everything i think in total it was like around 37k and um your chills. Hi. yeah so in total it was around 37k which is very expensive and it now means that we have to um save more money we need to start saving again so that we can um, replace that money that we are using for the bath for the bathtub and then we can buy more things because I don't want us to start anything before we have like everything that we need like the materials that we need um, and then yeah I just don't like compromising um, I knew that I wanted that bathtub and I knew that I didn't want to get anything else I wanted that bathtub so yeah i didn't want to compromise and yeah i rather wait 
and save more money until we have enough money to buy what we want like instead of just buying something just for the sake of completing the renovation i prefer to wait until i get everything that i want yeah i'm happy that we are getting that butt up even though it's gonna um it now means we have to save that money again again pay girl and she responded to me and i think she was trying to be insulting when she responded to me um she did um a, a tiktok talking about how men who carry with them uh savings you know discount cards like smart shopper or checker savings or whatever men who carry she could never be with men like that it's just not in it's not her style it's not her thing she could never and uh yeah if she wanted to trend, I she trended him. If she did it because she wanted to cause a stir, she did the right thing because it even got my attention. And typically, I do not like entrenching my myself in in other people's business. And I write down whatever has trended, and I I talk about it in that segment. I think that would be so much better. Okay, I'm currently watching a vlog. I'm watching Katlejo, Katlejo's vlog, but I was looking for an outfit, and guys, finding an outfit in this house is a struggle because we haven't unpacked everything. So I found these jeans, and I haven't worn them in a very long time, and I'm scared. I don't know if they still fit. I'm gonna try them on. Uh, these are the jeans I'm thinking of wearing, but I also. I think that maybe I should wear the other ones. I think I want to wear the Levi's ones. But, but I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Um, what's the other thing? So I told you about the life edit event. I told you about my tattoo. I told you about Pick and Pay Girl. Um, yeah, she came back at me. Younger women who are in their early 20s, typically a lot of the time, tend to say ma or refer to women in their thirties and above as ma or mama or whatever. So she did that and apparently she did it twice. The first comment that she did said to me in my response to her uh, pick and pay video, she said mama or something like that. She was trying to insult me. <laughs> I didn't laugh. I don't know what her plan was. I think she was trying to insult me. No. Um, you know, you know, we're not in the same, my darling. No. Or oh, not the beginning of another girl, but it's part of the same part. Um, I think I've got quite a bit of content for this. I guess sometimes you don't have to buy a fresh outfit all the time, but I kind of do like, especially if I'm going to be speaking. But oh, in the top of that, come up a beautiful. So we currently have load shedding, so lighting is really bad. Maybe let me just open the window. I'm in the blinds. Okay. Yeah. So I need to hang all of these, but I'm not gonna do it now. But I'm looking for a pair of jeans. Um the rib cage. Oh, I thought it was here. Oh, here. Yeah. I think I am ready. If it's like that, it'll fit that toilet. Yeah. Yeah, this is mine. That's, that is just a, it's not okay. plastic, it's made from a formaldehyde. Okay. <laughs> and they're and very nice seats. They what's the difference like. between this one and that one? The price was exactly the same. It's just but yeah, it's exactly the same. So you can have brass hinges? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we do that as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is supposed to be one of these soft clothes, but it's not Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you can buy this toilet, this one, but change the seat no, to... No, not on this toilet. Not on this one? Yeah. Oh. So it can only be uh, this one or that one? Yeah. That's why uh, this is a black one we have made special. Okay. You push it, you don't have. You don't have. Yeah. I'm going to push it. Yeah. 
Okay. And you can push the, the supply on Monday. Too. And you want what? With just Yes. You know, but everybody started late this year. You know, it was like the middle of the month, January. And then everybody's just slowly getting going. Mm -hmm. Be able to work on the PC. The Victorian bathroom. Yeah, in front of them. Let me take down the details. Is there a sense for the one with brass? Yeah, you see, it's, it's like that. It's just me to this is beautiful. I think I've seen something like this. Maybe at Victorian bathrooms, maybe? I think so. Let me just see if we can start a conversation. Big brass, um, let's come, come again. So you've got this handle, mm -hmm. the round handle, yes. this handle, the flat handle, I like that. this round handle. Yeah. I can work out a press for you if you like. Okay. <laughs> Finally back home. I'm so exhausted. We ordered the toilet seats at Antique Bathrooms. Also ordered the toilet... Um, what is this thing called the handle so it's going to be a mahogany and brass i'm going to show you guys a picture um that lady was very helpful she showed us so many things um i didn't know you could get the, um, the handle in, in the um, in that color but yeah we ordered the toilet seat and the handle we still need to buy the toilet <laughs> we're buying the toilet seat before the toilet which normal people wouldn't do that but the reason why i decided to do that is because i wasn't sure how long it would take to get the seats so i thought i should get the seats first because you can always like buy the toilets like toilets are always available it's very easy to find toilets so but their toilets are very expensive i think the one i like is seven point something i've also changed my mind about the toilet before i wanted to get the toilet with um i wanted the pipe to be brass but i don't think i want to get the toilet with the pipe now i think i'm just gonna stick to the classic toilet i'm not gonna get the one with the, um, the brass pipe because i feel like that one i'm not gonna love it forever i don't know something tells me that i'm not gonna love that one forever so yeah i think i'm just gonna get like the classic toilet and just change the um, the handle i'm also getting my set with brass hinges so it's gonna be beautiful went to the nursery before we came here i was looking for hydrangeas and guys my hydrangeas died i don't know what happened well they didn't die i feel like something ate them anyway i decided to get lemon and lime trees so these are the trees i got just leave them like this for now because jerry is only jerry only works on wednesdays this is the lime tree and it has little baby limes <laughs> um yeah so this is the lime tree i think this one was two 240 i think and then this is the lemon tree yeah i'm really excited so we want to plant these here because i want to see them i want to see them when i'm here in the kitchen so when I'm washing dishes or cooking or doing whatever, I want to see the lemon tree. I think maybe it's going to go here or even somewhere here. I think it's fine. We might have to get rid or move these. Anyway, I think that's all for now. I know I promised you guys that I was going to decorate the, um, the bookshelf with you the one that we are using as a tv stand this one i said i was gonna decorate this with you i haven't done it but i think maybe i'm gonna do it tomorrow because right now or maybe in the next vlog i don't know i don't know because um i'm i'm very tired now and i don't want to do it just for the sake of like the vlog yeah i think maybe i'm gonna do it um uh, maybe in the next vlog i think that is all for Okay, then. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> anyway i think that is all for now i think i'm gonna end the vlog um if i don't end the vlog then you guys will see me decorating that but if i do end this vlog then i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you on my next one bye guys